The lung diseases that are caused by tobacco are first of all lung cancer. 80% of all lung cancers are caused by tobacco smoking. But we're also talking about other chronic lung diseases such as emphysema, asthma or also TB. TB is an infection that is caused by bacteria and billions of people around the world are infected with this, but it's latent TB. And the chance of it becoming active TB is doubled if people smoke tobacco. The scale of the global tobacco epidemic is immense. Eight million people die each year because of tobacco. And this represents 15% of all deaths worldwide. And also another shocking number is that out of these 8 million people that die each year because of tobacco, 1 million people die because of exposure to secondhand smoke. So the good news is that we know exactly what has to be done in order to curb the tobacco epidemic. We have since 2003 the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control and in this treaty there are a lot of measures that countries can adopt so that less people die of tobacco use. For example, creating 100% complete smoke-free environments everywhere, not having children grow up with being bombarded by tobacco advertising every day, informing the public about the dangers of tobacco, for example by putting large graphic health warnings on tobacco packages. Packages. And then one of the most effective measures is to making tobacco products less affordable by increasing the tobacco taxation on products. What the individual can do in order to curb the tobacco epidemic, first of all, of course, don't start using tobacco. Tobacco contains nicotine and it's very addictive. If you are already addicted to nicotine, try to stop tobacco use. On our website you find a lot of information and help to quit tobacco. And then uh, a shout out to parents out there that use tobacco and smoke. Please don't smoke around your children. Don't smoke in public places and advocate for all public places to become smoke free.